Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a video on my Sephora Loves List. I had done a video in the past on my Ulta favorites and I got some pretty great comments back and some good traction on that video so I thought I'd go through my Loves List with you all from Sephora. I do not shop at Sephora very often. I don't know why. I just, I think I prefer the Ulta the Ulta Rewards program better, which is why I shop there more often, but there are some things at Sephora that you cannot get at Ulta, and that is what has ended up on my loves list on this uh, site. A lot of what's on here is stuff that you cannot get at Ulta. As a matter of fact, everything on here is stuff that you cannot get at Ulta. I tried to do that on purpose because if I can get it at Ulta, I would rather get it at Ulta because of the points program there. So we'll just start with the first line here. Here you see I have the Sephora Collection Z palette. It's currently on sale for $22.50 versus the $45 and I might get that soon because I have a lot of single shadows and would like to get more single shadows. I do have some beauty brands that I'd like to try that do a lot of single shadows that fit in magnetic pans like uh, Makeup Geek and I have a lot of ColourPop shadows. And I'd like to try, I think it's called Divina. I can't remember the ones that I'd like to try, but they have a lot of just single eyeshadow pans that you can buy to put in a magnetic palette, so I might end up getting this. It is dual-sided, but I'm not spending $45 on it. Uh, Cinema Secrets is a makeup brush cleaner that I have heard really good see uh, really good things about. Currently, my favorite is just the e.l.f. brand, which is $3, which is amazing, which is why I have not yet tried this, but you can get a a really large bottle of this stuff for 30 bucks from here and just refill your travel size. The Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, I've got the mini version up here. I'd really like the full size version, but the full size is like $49 or something like that. And I don't feel like spending that much on something that I don't know anything about yet. The mini version of this is pretty substantial still and it is $20, which I think is outlandish, but that's the one thing I like better about Sephora than Ulta is they have quite a bit of mini sizes that you can get. Uh, NARS is a brand that I haven't tried yet, so I do have a couple things here from NARS. Uh, this one up here, this one right here, is the highlighting and bronzing palette that I'd like to try. And then I've got their Power Matte Lip Pigments and their All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I have tried this in a little tiny sample pack and it is really amazing stuff. So, however, I do have an everyday foundation that I also love. So, $49 is a lot. That's also part of the reason why I don't buy a lot from Sephora because they're more luxury and I simply can't afford $49 for a foundation. Uh, so some of the next things that I have on here are milk products. All six of these items are milk products. I have heard really great things about milk makeup. I haven't tried any yet and it is a brand I'd like to try. So I have the Milk Makeup Highlighter on here, the Stick Highlighter, the Milk Makeup Holographic Powder Squad, which is on sale right now, Milk Makeup Blur Stick, the Holographic Stick, the Cooling Water, and the Matcha Toner. The thing that stops me from purchasing these things here is that I find them to be maybe a little unsanitary. Like, I'm not sure how... Also, like, how quickly do they dry out? Those kind of things. So, I have a problem with putting things straight to my face. I clean my brushes every day with a daily cleanser. So, these sticks 
part of what keeps me from buying these things and trying this brand is the hygienic factor of these. But they're interesting. I would definitely like to try them. Hourglass is another brand I haven't tried yet. That's this guy here. That is the ambient lighting palette. I've heard really good things about that. I would like to try it. It is $62, though, for three shades that are pretty much lit from within natural glow type shades, and I can get that from my $6 e.l.f. palette, which is what stops me from purchasing that. Laura Mercier, the caviar sticks. I got one as a sample and I loved it, so I did put it on my loves list. They are $38 a piece. So I have not purchased them in full size form because I don't use a lot of stick eyeshadows. So there's that. The Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder is such a cult favorite and I have never tried it. So I would I definitely like to try it at some point. It is $38 for the full size, but they do have, the great thing about Sephora, they do have a sample size of this that I believe is $20. The thing about samples is that they're amazing because you get to try a product, but at the same time, for the value, you're not, you're not getting, the price does not meet the amount for the value, so... Kevin Aquan is another brand that I would like to try, and I have seen this Neo setting powder in person, and it is huge. It is a huge compact. It is $58, which isn't bad for the size of the compact it is. And between this setting powder and this setting powder, the differences are that, you know, the Laura Mercier one is, the Laura Mercier one is loose, the Kevin Aquan one is solid, but I would like to try both. This is another Kevin Aquan item right here, and it is the Neo Trio palette. They are supposed to be highlighters, I believe. Let's take a quick look. Quick look. They are a magnetically designed travel size face palette featuring a bronzer, highlighter, and setting powder to create a perfect custom glow. The thing about this palette that is weird to me is that, okay, so it has the Neo setting powder that I talked about, right? But which one of these is the bronzer? Because they both look real pinky purple to me. So I'm not sure that I'd use a pink or purple bronzer. I'd probably use them both for blush. But this palette is three separate pieces that are magnetized together. So that's kind of interesting to me. Mark Jacobs. This is the bronzer that is a cult favorite. It is also, as you see here, an Allure um, Best of Beauty, and I have heard really great things about this. Would love to try it. It is a huge bronzer. So this one is the dark one, the Omega bronzer. There's a white package and a black package. I have not been able to find the white package. I don't know if they quit selling it or what, but I would really like to try some Marc Jacobs Beauty. I have a problem spending this amount, right? Luxury versus high-end. Another case in point. Guerlain. <laughs> Meteorites Happy Glow Pearls of Powder and Meteorites Highlighting Powder Pearls. So one of the ladies that I watch pretty regularly, April from want to make up and I'll link her channel below. Loves, loves, loves these Guerlain beads. So they are in here because of her. Basically, I'd like to try them because of her. This one has a really super pretty packaging, so I'd probably get that one before I get this one. But look at the price, guys. $74, $62. I'm just a regular Joe Blow and really can't afford that stuff. So uh, Givenchy, Pris, Prisme Libre, Prisma, yeah, I'm probably murdering that. Loose Powder Couture Edition, $58. This is another loose powder. It is color correcting, it looks like. This is also on here because of April from Wanna Makeup. She 
loves this powder, so. She's the only one, really, though, that I've heard talk about it, so. I don't know. It could be amazing. It could be not amazing, but this is another brand that I'd like to try. These luxury brands, though, like I said, I can't afford it, so <laughs> they're, they'll sit in my loves list until I can. Dior, another luxury brand. Dior Nude Air Tan Powder. This is a bronzer. This one's a luminizer. I have heard great things about these. The packaging is beautiful. I would love to try Dior. Burberry is another one. This one is the Festive Beauty Box, and it comes with some sample sizes of all kinds of things I want to try. So the chances of me purchasing this are probably a lot larger than, say, just this, which I think is also in my loves list, and it's next. I believe it's like $68 for just the highlighter. But this comes with a, a multitude of things. It looks like a mascara and a primer and a highlighter and a lipstick for 40 bucks. Yep, there's the next one. Burberry Fresh Glow Highlighter. I love the imprint on this. I love the packaging. It is $68. I have a whole lot of other highlighters that I love a lot. For, for instance, the Becca highlighters are amazing. They're half this price. So that's what stops me. Here's another Burberry Beauty Box. Again, same as this one. This one up here, it looks like. But this one is a little bit cheaper and it is sold out. Uh, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, just another liquid liner to try. I've heard really great, great things about this. It is a, an Allure Best Beauty product. I would love to try the tattoo liner. It's not that expensive, and I love Kat Von D products. So this Too Faced Just Peachy, not just peachy, Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer, I would like to try because this is my everyday go-to foundation the peach perfect comfort matte foundation and i love it and i love the fact that it's got like a whole bunch of different tones to it so you can get your summer color you can get your winter color and i'm starting to get into that place where i need to get another one so i'll probably go buy this and that z palette up there at some point but I'd like to try the perfecting primer that goes with the foundation that I use, but currently I've just a creature of habit, and I use the Laura Geller primers, and I love them, so I haven't switched over at this point. And it's a shame, because Ulta sells Too Faced, but you can't get these, this line from Ulta. That is a Sephora only. Here's another item from Hourglass. It's the Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. This one is supposed to be more in-your-face highlighters, which I would probably purchase before I purchase the Ambient Lighting one. And then just another, this one here and this one here. These two items are from the same Peach Perfect line, or just peachy line that you can't get at Ulta. Uh, this Peach Blur Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder Peaches and Cream. Looks awesome. Love the packaging. I've heard, though, that it's a translucent... Tra my goodness, use your words. A translucent finishing powder that has sparkle in it. So I'm a little concerned about that, and that might come off my loves list because of that. I know that the, the bronzer that looked like a peach pie came off of my loves list because of the shimmer in it. I don't want a bronzer that has shimmer in it. So this is on here, but may came off, come off. This probably will come off because I have so many palettes with these colors in it, but I just love this palette. It's just so pretty and compact, and it looks like a good travel size palette versus some of my other palettes. Uh, the Cover Effects Custom Enhancing Drops Set, I've heard a lot about. They are cult favorites for, you know, putting into your foundation to make your foundation more illuminating. I think that this set comes with four different colors of drops, and I would love to try this 
brand. I did get an illuminating setting spray from this brand in my BoxyCharm this month, and I am so excited because I've never tried Cover Effects and would love to try it. Sunday Riley is a skincare brand that is typically very, very, very expensive. This is a set, and it comes with four different items. Let's look at it real quick. It comes with four different items, a highly active anti-aging regimen that visibly improves the signs of premature aging from fine lines and wrinkles to dark spots and uneven texture. It has the Sunday Riley CEO, Sunday Riley Good Jeans, another CEO, um, and the Luna Drops. Let's look at the product details real quick. So it's got the CEO CNE Micro Dissolve Cleansing Oil, the CEO CNE Antioxidant Protect and Repair Moisturizer, the Good Jeans All in One Lactic Acid Treatment, and the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. I don't know, guys. It just looks really interesting. It sounds like it's right up my alley. Like, I don't have a whole lot of, I'm old. But I don't have a whole lot of wrinkles. I definitely don't have age spots yet, but I kind of don't want them. So I'm trying to do my best with my skincare regimen to, you know, prevent that stuff. I'd rather be proactive and prevent it than reactive and try and solve these problems, I guess, quote unquote problems when they arise. I've heard really great things about Sunday Riley, but, you know, for the most part, these items alone are super, super expensive. So, my problem with this is that I buy this kit, I get these four items, I fall in love with these four items, and then what am I going to be spending to replace these four items? So, that is part of the reason why I haven't purchased this kit yet. It's not a bad price. $60 is not a bad price. I spend $50 on my skincare most of the time, and I have used Origins. I've used Juice Beauty. I've used, I'm currently using Philosophy. I've used, you know, non-name brand. I've used High End. I have not used Luxury yet. I don't find that there's a whole lot of differences in the ingredient list makeup of these and the brands that I currently use. So that's the only thing that keeps me from purchasing this because it isn't a bad price, but I would be hard pressed to buy the full size if I indeed fell in love with it. I The Luna oil that they have in here, I have the Tarte Maracuja oil that I absolutely love. So I don't know that I'd spend $80 on a Luna oil <laughs> when I have an oil that I love. So that's what keeps me from purchasing this. So that is my loves list from Sephora. Let me know what you guys think. I am going to do some shopping over the next couple days because of, you know, Cyber Monday and all those great things. And I probably won't purchase a lot for myself because it is Christmas time. But I wanted to get this video out here, show you guys what I'm interested in. Let me know what you think and let me know what's also on your loves list that might be the same as mine or is different, is as different from mine as can be. And maybe I should keep my eye out on some stuff. Thanks so much for joining me because I absolutely know you don't have to. And I'm sorry you didn't get to see my face. If you guys are new here, my name is Donna and this is my Sephora loves list. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.